Hello friends and welcome to Automation Training Channel. In this video, we will discuss about powerhouse automation. We will be sharing our technical expertise and experience as we have commissioned this system at various industries. However in this video, we will be taking reference of project done at Hiranagar Swagar Mill, Bihar, India. Let's start our to need of powerhouse automation in sugar mill. To utilize the maximum load capacity of each TG set, turbo generator set is abbreviated as TG set. To perform dynamic loading on each TG set. To eliminate tripping of loads during switching of power sources. To continuously monitor all power parameters of all TG sets in SCADA. To alarm the operator against any electrical and mechanical faults. To trip the non-essential loads during overload of TG sets as per priority set in SCADA software. To instantaneously isolate the TG sets during critical faults. To record electrical and mechanical trends for analysis. To record fault history. And to monitor and control powerhouse from one place. In this project, we have three TG sets of 3 MW each in 1000 kVA DG set. The programmable logic controller PLC was used to get various inputs and outputs from these power sources and associated circuit breakers and bus couplers. The PLC was used to for auto-synchronization of TG sets and auto-load management. The SCADA software was used to communicate with PLC over on Ethernet port to display real-time parameters and to allow the operator to control the powerhouse from one place, as you can see in the video. When TG sets are running independently, each TG set has some unused capacity. However when TG sets are running in synchronized mode, the unused capacity is much large and an extra load can be added in the load buzz bar. This is more clear in the kilowatt graph as seen here. You can also see the graph of kilowatt sharing in synchronized mode. In sugar mill, first boiler is started with the help of diesel generator set. Boiler then generates steam which is used to start the TG set. When TG set's voltage is build up, then there is a need to shift the boiler supply power from DG set to TG set. Here comes the need for DG and TG power synchronization so that there shall be no tripping during power switch over. Let's see the various SCADA screens of powerhouse automation. This is electrical parameters monitoring screen along with running hours display. The update time of screen is 1 second as the update time of power analyzers communicating with PLC is 1 second. These all parameters are also recorded in the hard disk of computer for historical trends display. This is mechanical trends screen. Here the temperature of various points of TG set are monitored and recorded. This is event log screen, here all the events happening are recorded with date and time stamped. This is kilowatt trends screen, here dynamic load sharing of TG sets can be seen. This screen displays power flow diagram also called as single line diagram of powerhouse. Here we can see power sources and its breaker and bus couplers in close or trip positions. This is electrical parameters screen with graphical display such as bar graph, analog meters display. There is also total harmonics distortion display for voltage and current in this screen. This screen displays mechanical parameters of turbine set. Here we can see various temperatures, inlet steam pressure, steam flow and exhaust steam pressure along with RPM of an alternator. This screen shows that the operator can synchronize the TG set by selecting the start synchronization option. With the use of powerhouse automation system, it is now so easy to synchronize the power sources from the click of mouse button. Finally you can see that power quality parameters is also displayed and recorded in this project. 